Hey, what's up? I'm Dom and welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm in a totally different scenery today and that's because I'll be setting up a new printer for my sister for schoolwork. Now, the printer I'll be setting up today, I thought I'll make a video about because it's actually a very reasonable deal uh, for what you're getting. It's perfect if you're a student, if you just need to print something every now and then or even if you just want a basic printer to store away and use when you might want to. So the printer in question is this. It's, it's a very basic HP printer. It's the Deskjet 2710E. And what can I say? The printer is one of the most basic printers you can probably buy at the moment. It's got print scan and copy, you've got dual band Wi-Fi with self reset. It can handle 60 sheets per input tray and I believe this one only has the one. It's got a LCD screen with buttons and it's best for and it's best suited for your everyday documents, aka uh, schoolwork or even coursework if you're a student. Now what sets HP apart from any other brands is the fact that they offer something called HP Instant Ink. Now I've used HP Instant Ink as a student uh, for quite some time, I absolutely adore it. Um, I did end up buying a laser printer for my last year though, but during my first, second and third year, yes I actually my fifth year at uni at the moment, I'm doing the masters in computer science, but yeah, during my first, second and third year, I used a HP printer. It was a HP Envy. I couldn't recommend it enough as well. Now, see, that came with the HP Instant Ink. HP Instant Ink is a monthly ink subscription service with plans starting from as little as 99p per month. Uh, it's very simple, basically. You select a plan and depending on how much pages you print per month is how much you pay. So for example, if you only pay um, just every now and then, um, maybe if you print um, boarding passes, tickets and various things like once or twice a year, then this 15 pages per month, 99p plan is for you. What you have to remember is if you buy ink out from the shop it's going to cost you between 20 and 30 maybe even more uh, pounds per set of cartridges whereas it's going to be with the 19 p plan it's going to be under 12 pounds for the entire year and um, same goes for the 199 plan you know it's 50 pages per month um, and the great thing is that you're not spending over 25 pounds a year which is incredible i think so anyway, we're going to start by unboxing this printer and then I'll tell you what I think about it. That's what the box looks like. As you can see, it's very basic in style. And what I did mention initially is that it actually comes with a six month trial of the Instant Ink service, which is extremely good value, I think, uh, specifically, especially for the price. Um, so let's have a look. So this is the return form. Okay, so the printer obviously comes with a handy setup guide. Um, it's just very basic. It also comes with two HP starter ink cartridges. Um, obviously this particular printer uses HP 305. Now these particular cartridges I believe are already HP instant ink cartridges. Um, so you've got obviously two cartridges of this particular printer, it is only a basic printer. You've got your colour cartridge and you've got your black and white or black cartridge. It comes with a sanded power cable. I'm in the UK so I got a UK 3-pin one. So this is the HP Instant Ink I was saying about and they claim can save up to 70% on ink. And that's something this printer does come in with a trial obviously. So yeah. So yeah, after having a quick look on Amazon, 
the black ink cartridge uh, costs 849 usually 1099 um, these are excel cartridges and the color is 10 so it's gonna it's, it will be around 20 pounds but the thing is right 20 pounds a cartridge and if you think about it right that cartridge will last you three, four months at most, and then you have to spend another twenty pounds for that cartridge. With this, though, it's twelve pounds, well, just under twelve pounds for the entire year of ink, or twenty-four pounds for fifty pages. Hundred pages is uh, three forty-nine a month. Three hundred pages is ten pounds a month. Seven is twenty-two forty-nine a month. And the beauty is with that. Yes, you do pay monthly. But the huge advantage of paying monthly is that you save a huge amount of costs. If I'm honest, for my university, I stayed um, in, in the first three years. I didn't print very a huge amount of work, um, so I totally saved on the 50-page uh, a month plan, and I was spending around 25 pounds a year. And I actually didn't have the luxury of having cheap cartridges like that. The cartridges I used were uh, around. Uh, 35 pounds a set um, from my particular printer, which I think is uh, expensive for student. But nevertheless, that's uh, HP Instant Ink Replace, and like I said, I'm not representing HP in this, I'm just saying this from my own experience of using this service. It's absolutely brilliant, I think. Which I probably said half a dozen times now. Reference and support uh, manual, which is nice to see for people who aren't um, tech savvy. So more documents here, declaration stuff, uh, information regarding the HP Instant Ink cartridge, and yeah, that's just about it. So let's open this up. So. Let's just open it. I have to say, I'm not very used to handling printers uh, of this weight. Also, it's extremely light. Now, if you are a uni student, the one thing I would highly recommend is to look at a printer that does dual printing, uh, dual page printing, because it is honestly a huge, a huge amount better. Uh, so I'm just gonna take all of these plasticky things off. Now, one thing I will say is sad to see is the fact that this printer didn't actually come with. A USB cable for those people who need to have a USB cable to function. Uh, it's, it is very disappointing to see that, uh, but it's expected. I mean, most printers are wireless now. This is a totally wireless printer. It's actually a very smart looking. Well, it's actually a very smart looking wireless printer as well. Uh, so yeah, let's plug her in. Now, for this, I do believe you have to um, download an app. I'm going to put it under the desk, which is where it will live. Apologies for the cable management. So I've just, uh, I haven't finished doing this little mini setup. Yeah, this is actually a pretty cool setup, I think. Um, right, so I just powered the printer on, and now I'm going to set it up. Yeah, so I've just downloaded the HP Smart app. I'm going to open it. It's a very well laid out app um, from what I can see so far. So let's start by setting up a new printer, I guess. And once I set all of this up, I'll be back. Yeah, so the printer is now set up. I'm just looking at the printer quality page and I'm not sure if you can see um, from looking at the video, but it's actually extremely good quality. Um, I wasn't expecting something as good quality as this from a budget printer. So I am extremely happy. 
uh yeah other than that that's it for this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more great content till next time